guys, welcome back. Uh, thanks for taking the time to join me and I hope everybody's keeping well and doing the best. Now I'm going to tell you my own wee dabbler pattern here. This is dead easy to put together. It's a good wee fly to have in your box. The hook and the vise is a Camazon B175 in size 10. I'm going to use a uni thread, 801 black, to tie the fly. Now, you tie these down to a size 14. So we'll just work our thread down the shank of the hook and fairly close touching turns and remove the waist tag of thread. Now this is what I do usually. I start off with 10s, then 12s, then 14s and that will allow you to adjust the proportions, I believe anyway, that's, that's the way I do it. Now the tail, you're just looking some bronze mallard. So just looking at couple of fibres and I'm not going to go crazy. Just take them off and just give them a wee roll in between my finger and thumb. Offer these up to the hook. I want this round about the length of the hook over the bag or so. Take three or four turns heading down the shank of the hook to tie in the tail. Trim that away. Rib. This is just a UTC hot yellow wire, catch that in, then the body is a Opal Mirage tinsel in large. Now, usually when you see me <coughs> 9 times out of 10 when I'm using Opal Mirage I'll be using a white thread but I want the black thread this time because we're going to get a, a nice green colour green flavour coming off the the Opal Mirage once we bring it up. So we're just working our thread forward tying everything in. Then we're going to come around with our Opal Mirage. Just have a wee check at the bag. Happy with that. And then we're just looking overlapping turns of the tinsel. And you can see that nice green colour coming through now. Just work it up. Follow this around with your thread. A couple of tape turns I'll catch that in. Come in and trim away the, the waist end. The body haggle. This is a I'll just show you the key. <coughs> this is a Matt's grade two. It's a bar ginger and dyed it a golden olive. Sorry, yeah, golden olive colour. So I'm just going to come up, catch up my stem, trim with the stem, and then I like to get two to three turns going at the shoulder of the fly. That means the top of the body, and then I'm looking four turns of the hackle, just palmering it down the body. Follow this around with here hot yellow wire and then you're looking four turns of the wire up the body and up to here just sweep everything back and bring the, the wire up in front and follow this around with your thread now the best thing to do here is is to take the thread tang in the wire right to the eye of the hook and you can bend and break that away just bring it to the, any of the Haggle fibers with my fingers, and then we'll just work our thread back up nice and tight. Now, at this point, we're going to get a this is an, an Egyptian goose feller, a medium feller, and we're going to bring out some of the some of the fibers from the stem, tear it away, just roll them in between your fingers and thumb. Now, just going to cloak this. Best thing to do here, guys, is see these wee fluffy ends at the bottom. Just take those away. Offer this up to the hook to where you want the length of it coming back. Now, just I hold it there on my finger and thumb. And then just let it spin round the hook and take a couple of turns 
then you can come around and have a wee check, see where everything's sitting. I'm happy enough with that. And then just tighten up. Now, it's a lovely colour of a feather, it's nicely barred. That's why I used it. Then we're just going to come in and trim everything the whole way right round. And you'll be able to tell that it's the whole way right round there because I've had to trim the fibres right the whole way right round. Right. Just come in, just hold everything back, bring your thread to the eye and bring it up over the cut ends. Nice and tight. To there. Now we're not looking too bad. At this point we're going to put on a throat. Now I have enough fiber on this. Same again, just bring it out from the, the stem. Rip it away. Now you can have your throat on your hack on your dabblers as long as you like. That's up to you. I just catch mine in there with a pinch and loop. Have a wee look. Right, that's just a wee bit too long for me, so I'm just gonna bring it in a wee bit. Have another check. Just to see what way I'm sitting. I'm happy with that, so we'll just tighten up with a couple of turns. And then come in and trim that away. about the length now nah, I'm happy enough with that so just bring my thread down over the cut ends and back up getting ready for our, our wing I need to get a new feather for the wing so we'll get a new bronze mallard feather take away the rubbish at the bottom just come in nah. see this here it's just trailing order when you first start just bring out enough, around about a thumb, a thumbnail's length. Then you just want to fold this in. I'll try and do this on the camera. So just fold it in. Just on in equal parts, you want to try and fold it in. And then I'll get one more in to there. Just come in, just bring it all together and through your finger and thumb, and that's your wing. Now, you can tie the wing on like this and let it spay a little. If you tie it tight enough and you tie it back further into here, the, the feather will maybe spay open for you, but it doesn't matter. The flat will still work. Now, I like the offer mine up like this, roofed. Now, I want the, usually when I'm tying my dabblers, the wing will only come just maybe past the haggles, sabers. But I want a long uh, wing on this that's coming into the tail. So then you just come up with your finger and thumb, just come in, just hold it there, come around with a couple of nice tight turns, just to see what way you're sitting. Right, now I'm not happy with that, so I'm going to come back. I'm not happy with it because it twisted on the side, so I'm going to come back in. Roll my fingers back through it, back in and get my measurement again. Pinch it on the hook. Come around with a pinch and loop. A couple of tight turns. The end one come in. Nah, I'm happy with that. That's the way I want the wing there. Always go back guys, not happy. Just go back. It happens to the, the best fly tires in the world. Now, I'm not putting myself in the act class, but it happens to the best. Now, just take an extra couple of turns to catch in the, the fibres. Then bring your thread to the eye of the hook. And then you're just going to build up. You're just going to build up your head. Now, see on dabblers, don't be shy. A couple of wee fibres here that I need to catch in down the bottom. Got them. Don't be shy with the head. Everybody loves small heads on flies, but I like a good head on a dabbler. So don't be shy with it. Then we're going to come in 
and we're going to throw in a whip finish. Just trying to get the head levelled off a bit. We're we'll pulling the thread tight and come in and trim away your tan thread now. I like to always put a first coat on my heads of this is just super glue. This is just Loctite super glue, guys, but you can buy uh, British on super glue anywhere, really. So just right the whole way right round. And then I'll let that dry. And I'll come in and hit that with a couple of coats of varnish after a way. Now, what I like to do here is see my needle, come in with my needle and take it along the eye of the hook. That'll just stop any of the glue. It's maybe going to run down into it. Then <clears throat> it's always worthwhile at this point just to make sure that the eye is clean. Because there's nothing worse to get out onto a boat and your eyes blocked up. So there you go guys. That's my wee <coughs> dabbler pattern. So hopefully you've got something from that. <coughs> That's the other ones here. <coughs> Number six makes the makes the set for me. So um, that's what I tend to do for myself, just tie six of each pattern and the, the different sizes, 10, 12s, 14s, that's just my thing. So anyway, hopefully you've got something from that. As always, thanks for taking the time to view the video. It's greatly appreciated. And uh, tight lines.